In the late 1960s, Bell Labs was a vibrant hub of innovation. Amid all the buzzing ideas stood one man who helped shape the digital age. Dennis Ritchie. Today, let's dive into the story behind Ritchie, his creation, C, and why it's still the backbone of modern computing. Dennis Ritchie was an American computer scientist with an extraordinary vision. Along with Ken Thompson, he co-created Unix, the operating system that changed computing. But while building Unix, they ran into performance and portability challenges. That's where C came in. Originally developed between 1969 and 1973, C evolved from an older language called B. Ritchie designed C to help developers write efficient programs that were fast and portable. It let programmers interact closely with computer hardware while keeping things manageable. Fast forward to today, C is everywhere. It's inside your operating systems, embedded in cars and medical devices. It even forms the basis for languages like C++, Objective-C, and C-sharp. Whenever you hear about high-speed software, C is often behind the scenes. So how is C different from other languages? Modern ones like Python or JavaScript focus on simplicity. They manage memory for you and come with big libraries. C makes you handle the details yourself, powerful but risky. It demands care, but rewards you with speed and control. Dennis Ritchie gave the world more than a programming language. He laid the groundwork for modern software. C became the universal language of systems programming. Even now, it's essential for writing operating systems and performance-critical software. So the next time you open an app, stream a video, or power up your device, know that Dennis Ritchie's invention likely helped make it happen. His legacy lives on in every compiled program and every new line of code. That's the story of Dennis Ritchie and the language that shaped modern computing. If you're coding today, you're benefiting from his work. Here's to the brilliant mind behind the sea that changed it all.